Let me start by saying that I'm in no way sponsored by DaVinci or any other company, and I bought this brush for personal use. With that out of the way, this is the first look at the DaVinci Casino Quill Mop Brush. The packaging is bare bones, I guess, but I'm not paying for a fancy box. Hopefully just a well-made brush, you know what I'm saying? The brush ships in a plastic protector, which is used to hang on a wall in a shop. And the brush itself has a cellophane protector that is held on by a small piece of string, very nicely wrapped. The bristles of the brush are also glued so they do not become damaged in any way while they are being shipped. The Da Vinci Casino brushes are synthetic brushes. So why even make a synthetic brush when this is a high quality brush manufacturer? They could just use regular natural fiber brushes, right? Well, no, not exactly. The bristles of the brush are sourced from specific animals like the Kazakh squirrel, the blue squirrel, or from the tail of the Kalinsky, a species of weasel rather than the actual sable. In the past, and more so in the present, these natural fibers and hairs can be in short supply, meaning that it's harder for manufacturers to get enough of them to meet demand. This also means that manufacturers may use lower quality fibers and hairs because there's no other option available to them. The synthetic brush does not have this problem since it does not rely on natural resources. This also means that the price does not inflate with fiber availability. Also, it's almost guaranteed to not harm any animals in the process if you're into that sort of thing. The brush that I am reviewing is a size 6 round quill brush. The mop brush sizes are different from regular round brushes. For example, the size 6 round brush is 15 millimeters at the ferrule. But a regular round brush that is 15 millimeters is a size 22. So take that into consideration when you're choosing your brush. Always look at a diagram to see how it measures and then measure that against any brushes you already have so you get an understanding of what you're going to get when you order the brush. Anyways, how does it paint? All I can say is wow, this brush holds more water than a 5 gallon bucket I swear. This might make water control a bit harder since the brush will naturally be picking up a lot more water and pigment whenever you're putting it anywhere on your palette. It's kind of to be expected from a quill mop brush, but it's still surprising at first sight to see a whole puddle of water just soak right into the brush. The brush can hold a tip so sharp that it can make extremely fine lines, much finer than even some smaller brushes that I own. That being said, with a little bit of practice, I think that you could use this brush for almost all of your work, even some very detailed markings. Finally, is it worth it? Like, is it really worth the MSRP of $91? So far, I would say yes. And compared to a natural fiber brush, this is a reasonable price. But this brush is not for beginner artists. It's best suited for well-practiced hobbyists or serious art students. I say this because any brush that costs more than $20 would work well enough. I used three Master's Touch brushes that I got on sale for $30 four years ago. And I think it's far more important to use a high quality paper than a high quality brush. A good brush will not help without nice paper to work with. Keep that in mind. The watercolor needs to soak in to something, and that something is the paper. The brush only carries the paint to the paper. So, thank you for watching, and if you liked it, then get subscribed for the Wish.com brush review coming up soon.